Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, I recently finished my third sketchbook and I wanted to share it with you in a sketchbook tour. But then I remembered that I never ended up doing a tour for my second sketchbook. So today we're going to do the tour of both. Starting, of course, from the oldest one. I started this sketchbook on October 1st, 2017 and I finished it on January 25th, 2019. The first part of the sketchbook consists of the drawings I made for Inktober. That was the first year I followed the original prompt list and many of the drawings features my original characters. I actually shared all of the Inktober drawings on my DeviantArt account, so I will put a link in the description box if you want to have a better look at them. To me, being consistent with daily drawing has never been really easy, especially back at the time this sketchbook was filled in, so Inktober has always been very challenging for me. This particular Inktober toe I was really happy with. There has been days when I was not inspired at all and it definitely shows in the drawing, but overall there were many days where I was truly happy with what I did. This spread, for example, I really love it so much, and I still do. The majority of these drawings were made in kind of a short time, since I was doing them at school between a class and the other. And to be honest, I kind of miss the school days when I always had my sketchbook with me. Being mainly a digital artist, I don't spend enough time on sketchbooks, and that's why it always takes me something like forever to finish one. And I really wish I could get into the habit of sketching more traditionally, as actually I prefer the feeling of traditional sketching rather than digital sketching. Anyway, here for example, one of those bad day drawings that I was talking about earlier. One thing I really loved about this Inktober is that I actually drew my UCs many times. Nowadays, I feel like I never drawn them enough and I really want to change that. It returns Inktober 2017 and after that, a lot of time passed before the next drawing. If I remember well, this was a birthday gift for a dear friend of mine and this means it was February already. <laughs> I then started being a little bit more experimental with my drawings, playing with washi tape, another thing that I kind of miss doing, <laughs> and with markers. Uh, there's not really much to say about these pages, um, they were almost all random ideas, <laughs> mainly cute girls with flowy hair because back then I still didn't feel really comfortable with drawing male characters. So yeah, random drawings, a couple attempts at character design, more random drawings, one of my OCs, some drawing from reference, and my OCs again. <laughs> a fan art of a friend OC I never showed her because I wasn't satisfied with the result, and yet again my OCs. <laughs> We also have my first and only drawing for Memory 2017 and some other studies with original characters, some of these outfit redesign, and some character designs. These actually ended up being adoptables and they're still up for sale, so I'll put a link somewhere if you want to check the details. Then it started with my yellow obsession. Um, I had just bought a yellow Posca pen and basically I just wanted to use it anywhere possible. The following drawings were made for a challenge I saw on Instagram where basically you had to make a drawing a day for a whole month following a prompt list and since it was summer and I had much free time, I wanted to give it a try, but spoiler, <laughs> I didn't manage to finish the challenge. Towards the end, I was really demotivated and all the drawings I was doing didn't satisfy me at all for some reason, so I just ended up stopping. I was very happy with a couple of the drawings, like this watermelon mermaid for example, but the overall experience was only draining me so much energy and 
I wasn't enjoying that at all. So I figured out it wasn't worth it to stress myself out so much for something that was meant to be a pleasure. And I gave up with the challenge. Here, as you can see, the drawing started to be more and more lazy. I wasn't even committing anymore and the results were really, really off. I don't regret trying the challenge because after all, that's all experience and as I said, there were a couple of drawings I were really happy with. I had so much fun with these chibis for example and I took the chance to get out of my comfort zone, experimenting with style in some of the drawings and honestly I think that maybe I just wasn't in the right place mentally back then and I didn't have the same level of motivation I had for challenges like Inktober. This spread should be the last one I did before giving up and I really hate it. Everything is such a mess so let's just go over. <laughs> Here we have again some washi tape and some original character sketches. I was trying to define a bit better their designs. A fun fact is that I'm looking at this sketchbook again after a very very long time and I didn't even remember some of these latest drawings. Here we have a little character design I made that is obviously inspired by Katie Golden's style, because back then I was truly obsessed with her videos. Here instead we have a couple commissions we made, always on MediumTart and some on Instagram. And I'm still kind of happy with those. This sketch was the base for a digital piece I made, which was a draw this again of uh, one of my oldest pieces, and I'm really, really proud of how it turned out. Here's some Christmas vibe. One of my first draw this in your style drawing, if I can recall well. And some cat studies, because I'm terrible at drawing animals. <laughs> Then we have again some OC drawings with different outfits and some more character designs. I remember doing this because I wanted to turn them into adoptables, but for some reason I never ended up doing so. I still like the design though, so I may consider doing it now. I don't know, <laughs> I'll think about it. And with yet again some OC's drawings, we came to the end of my sketchbook number two. So now we can get to the last one I finished, which is sketchbook number 3. This was my first Moleskine sketchbook, so I was really scared of messing it up, but well, that's what sketchbooks are made for. I started this on October 1st, 2018, before finishing the previous one, because I wanted to have all the October drawings in the same place. And I finished it on June 13, 2020. I'm really happy with this Inktober actually, and I also put some of the drawings available as designs on my Red Vapor shop. I will be putting a link in the description for that too if you are interested in checking those out. I remember I put a lot of effort in this Inktober, maybe because I was using a high quality sketchbook for the first time, and basically I wanted to do my best with it. And even so, there are some drawings from this month that I honestly don't like at all. I'm still really happy with the overall result. Here again my OCs. I'd kind of like to redraw this one, it was cool. Here I lost half of my mental sanity doing all those little stars and it took me way too much time. Here we have a thin year after so much time <laughs> and the terrible attempt to draw a pregnant woman that will all pretend never happened. <laughs> These instead were kinda cute. I remember I wanted to turn them into pins, but I don't know if that will ever happen, but who knows. Then a couple ladies with weird faces. It would be kinda fun to redraw this to see if I improve, but I know I won't do that. I'm so happy with this spread, I love the little Harris in Wonderland and I was so proud of the shoes in the second row. 
Chibi Ila and a random terrible portrait. Another kind of weird spread that I don't like at all. And a Psycho 2 Hello Girl. <laughs> and another Chibi Hila. And here the last October drawing and a sketch that was inspired by the song Sunflower from the film Sierra Burgess is a Loser. And I love that song so much. Go listen to it if you haven't already because it's really wonderful. OCs again. Gender band version of Hila, another dress in your style and a study from Pinterest, gender band Axel and Matt, other stuff, a random character design inspired by a mood board challenge on Instagram, and my favorite couple being adorable. <laughs> Original characters again and again, <laughs> sorry for the spam. I don't see again and then some Pinterest studies. I guess I like flowers and pretty girls. <laughs> Sketches and a commission. Commission, a study from a sculpture, another good is in your style and a Pinterest study. Sketches and the base for a digital road is in your style, which to be honest, I don't really like. <laughs> Another draw is in your style, some studies, a character design I made for a workshop, and Arcana and Hal again, but I don't really like how this turned out. And here we start with Mermaid. I only did six mermaid drawings in 2019, and all in three of them were made traditionally, but honestly I'm super happy with all of those. This little red girl here has been my profile picture on Instagram for kinda lot of time actually. And here's some sketches and other drawings I made following some suggestions I received on my Instagram account. OCs and the sketch actually ended up being a digital illustration for Top of C 2019 and I still really love that drawing. <laughs> Some pencil studies, an OC and other studies, and a comeback of washi tape with a draw this in your style. <laughs> Eli again, random girls, and a drawing of Mermaid Hannah in Sailor Hall, a sketch page with the material I got from my first ever scholar box. And a drawing of Axel and Mirai. Mirai and Dana, some studies, a spread of Instagram requests, random ladies again, studies, 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 other studies, and a fan art of Luca from Miraculous Ladybug. I really like this spread. Another scroller box and another study spread. I noticed that I really love doing this kind of spread and I really love the way they look at the hand. Spoiler page that I can show you and the first day of Mermaid 2020, which I really, really like. <laughs> another page of studies and another Mermaid Day. And boom! Last page of this sketchbook with a mini me being happy. <laughs> and wow, that, that's it guys! <laughs> that was very long. <laughs> I never talked so much, I'm not used to it, and I'm sure you noticed that. <laughs> so yeah, these were my second and third sketchbooks. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me in this tour and I truly hope that listening to me rambling for something like 15 minutes straight wasn't too much to handle and well thank you so much if you were brave enough to watch until the end. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!